Hey, what's going on guys? So we're back with Vinny by popular demands. So today I decided to go to the Dollar Tree and I bought absolutely everything they had in the way of snacks that's supposed to be spicy. So we're going to be the uh, deciding factor of whether or not it's actually spicy. So first thing we have hers ghost pepper chips. All right, we'll hold on to those. We have Grimm's Fiery Hot Crunchy Cheese Curls. Sounds pretty good. Oh, it's lying on my table. All right. Hers Fire Roasted Sweet Corn. Did you ever have the regular version of this? Mm -hmm. The regular version tastes identical to corn, like butter corn. Really? It's delicious. So this is going to be the spicy version of it. Then Tapatio Hot Fries. Gotta love some hot fries. That's old school. Actually, speaking of which, Andy Caps, but these are I've spicy onion rings. Hmm. All right, so Andy Caps. I've had the hot fries and fries. I've never had that. The hot fries are actually pretty hot. I remember back in the day, that was like the hot snack. These are one of my favorite cheese wheels right here. I've had these two before, but <laughs> the last time I had these were a long time ago. So hers, Buffalo Blue Cheese. These are cheese doodles, right? And, oh, I'm sorry. Did I get two of these? Oh, no, you know what? I got this literally for you to try later. Okay. <laughs> this is the hot version of it. All right, same These thing. Yeah, that's the regular version. version. All right. Okay. I knew there was something wrong there. There's the actual hot ones. Then hers, creamy ranch and habanero. All right, some chips. And last up, for Fireys, Fireys. I don't Chili know. And lime. Knock off uh, ta uh, Takis. Yeah. Chili and lime. For some reason I feel like those are probably gonna be delicious. So, anyway, that's it. We're just eating some snacks. A couple of big dudes. Right? And I know people are going to be like, Jeff, come on, man. When are you going to shave the hair? When are you going to show us the hair? Stop eating food like this. It's just for a video. It's just for fun. So, we're going to start here because it's random. Right? How's that sound? Good. Okay, hers. Ooh, man, smell that. Creamy ranch that habanero. See, this stuff is dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're good. <laughs> Grab one. All right. We're trying to get a little one. Right. So, this is literally everything in the snack aisle I could find in the whole store that seemed like it was going to be spicy or hot. I, I skipped over candy because, you know, I do all that stuff too. Mm. That's what it looks like. looks like a chip. Actually, looks like it's kind of seasoning on it. Yeah. All right, cheers. That's actually mm. That's actually hot. It actually packs a little punch. It's right in my throat already. Um, definitely taste the ranch. Definitely taste hot and right? Yeah. That's actually really good. So, uh, damn. We do, want to do like a one to ten spectrum of hotness. I do like it. One to ten. I, I had no plans on scales at all. I was just yeah. gonna eat the chips. <laughs> but you're right. Let's do a scale. Um, all right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before you pick anything, mm -hmm. we have to have a base. Okay. What's spicy that everyone eats? We'll say um. Flaming hot. Flaming hot Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos. Okay. okay. Those are pretty spicy, but let's say that's a five. Yeah. Perfect. So compared to flaming hot Cheetos, uh, I already have my my, my number. Three? I'd say three. I would say a three or four. Teetering. Yeah. Three and a half for me. Three and a half. All right. And it does have a nice little kick on the back end, but it's not like when we're flaming hot, it's like uh, you can tell that you can tell there's heat there the whole time. Yeah. This has like a nice like ranch habanero, and then you get that little background. So. It, I mean, it was all flavor though. I have yeah. to say, it's it very, good. very actually delicious. I, I liked it a lot. All right, we're gonna go right here. <laughs> You're familiar, right? <laughs> it's been a while since I've had these. I live off these, and I shouldn't. Mm. Did you ever have the jalapeno popper ones? Yeah. They're really pretty good Brittany, too. Brittany likes those. Oh, yeah, you can, well, you know the deal. These, these are, are my favorite. Ones. I can eat like 10 bags of these. Not good. All right. So for me, I smell a little bit of that blue cheese, but... Hmm. Okay. They're good. They're not as spicy as that. Nah. Uh, I already knew mm. I wasn't going to rank them before I tried. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd say two. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll give it a two. two. I'll give it a two because there is definitely some heat there, but it's mm -hmm. nothing like that. See, with those though, is that if you eat more than one, like if you're pounding them on, one, yeah. two, three, the, the heat might kick up to a three, but it's, it's a solid two. You know what does that? The uh, the Pocky's Ghost Chips. When yeah. those first came out, I would eat one. I'm like, it's not that bad. <laughs> I couldn't eat more than like a handful. It was just getting too uncomfortable. The heat like stacks. And even sometimes, so like if you look at the. Um, I don't eat them very often, but if I do have some kind of like flaming hot something, they have like extra flaming hot, extra extra flaming hot. Those are just a little uncomfortable. They're yeah. just a little too hot for me, at least to enjoy. All right, hers ghost pepper flavored. 
Now these say they're hot. It's only in the scale, so we'll see. And out of curiosity real quick. Um, just seeing what kind of spices. It says including ghost chili pepper. So there's actual ghost pepper in this. Hmm. I smell some kind of pepper. I don't yeah. know if that's specifically ghost pepper. That is a, ghost pepper has a really good smoky pepper flavor. I don't really smell that there, but it smells different. I'm try to check it out. All right. It's one, you know? Oh, those are the best. Let's see. We got a full, full chip here too. All right. So they look like normal chips. Mmm. Mmm. They made those sweet. I'm trying to wait for the heat. I don't. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you might have to give it a second. I feel that something building a little bit. Yeah. These are actually. I mean, I, I was surprised by how sweet they are. There's no way it goes better than that. No. I mean, there is, but maybe like, like very yeah, yeah, for a huge like batch. Yeah. That's kind of disappointing. Well, I'm going to give that a one. I would give it a two still, but mm. yeah. yeah. I'm going to give it a one. Okay. All right. Uh, what do you think about the flavor, though? It's the sweet is, and it has a dry heat to me. The flavor is good, but it's um, it, it doesn't last too long. No. So, no, I don't think it does. Yeah. Um, I'm going to jump right to this popcorn. I just feel like, you know, before we move on. Yeah. I just feel like if you're gonna label yourself ghost <laughs> pepper, like there has to be a substantial amount. Obviously, like there's not a lot of people who can stand heat, but like, like when you have like a, a scale, yeah, it's, it's pinned. It's pinned know? on hot, so yeah, it's pinned on hot. It, I feel like it's a one. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. All right, so this is the fiery sweet corn. I'll take two. All right. I'm, I'm curious because, like I said, that tastes so much like buttered corn. That's like right. Oh, that took more than two. <laughs> All right, well, I got like seven. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done the pour. I'm committed now, though. Oh, I'll try one first. Mmm. <laughs> it's kind of like a cream corn taste. Mm hmm. That is, it's like those, but it's yeah. spicy. Yeah. Um,. The heat, I mean, heat's not bad. Uh, there's definitely heat there, though. I gotta also remember that we're, we're going off the scale of... Uh, the 1 to 10 and 5 yeah. being that standard uh, uh, flaming Hot. I feel like it's a 1 for me again. I don't know. I'm gonna go 2, but hey, that's why I have different opinions. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to agree. Um, I taste the... And the other thing, too, is... I don't want this to be like a 50-minute video of two dudes just eating stuff, so... <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like... Technically, yes, we should wait for the heat to die down to test a new one, but we're going to know whether it's hotter than the previous one or not as hot. So I'm confident in our ability to decide whether it's hot. You know what I'm wondering? What? As we do all the hot stuff, there's like a huge debate. Uh, people like blue cheese or ranch. Oh, that's a good question. So comment down your favorite dressing on hot wings, blue cheese or ranch. All right, so I'm going to throw this out there. <laughs> I'm a huge ranch guy. And in fact, most of my life, when I've made my own sauce, I've used ranch as a base. Mm -hmm. I'll put different hot sauces in there and make a creamy, spicy sauce. Yeah. But with wings, not only blue cheese, <laughs> chunky blue cheese. And the bigger the chunks, the better. It threw me off because one of my buddies came over and we ordered some wings one time. Yeah. And uh, but he, he ordered it, so I didn't know he wanted ranch. Oh. I, I mean, because it looks similar when you open the container. So I went to go dunk a, a wing into it, mm. and I, I just couldn't eat it. I'm like, it just threw me off. Like, I, Did you let him stay? <laughs> <laughs> I almost kicked him out. You know, and then we had this whole debate. He was like, oh, ranch is amazing. I'm like... I mean, I could eat ranch on wings. I just wouldn't I just choose it over blue cheese. Blue cheese. You get yeah. that nice, chunky blue cheese, too? Well, I grew up, and you got the celery and the carrots. Like, back in Jersey, yeah. we used to you know, get it from, like, the local bar. And they give you the cut carrots and the cut celery. And it was just, it was nice. But, yeah, blue cheese for me. Team blue cheese over here, Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's try these Andy Caps beer battered onion rings hot. Hmm. Corn and oat snack. I didn't even know they made onion rings. Me neither. I don't know, I'm assuming they have regular ones too. They look really orange. Really, really orange. Grab one. I hope they actually I taste beer battered. One, but... Yeah. They look like kind of cheese doodle rings. Mmm. Mm. It smells like. Um, it smells like the seasoning packet for ramen. Get that whole bag. No, it does. Right? All right. Here we go. Yeah. 
I know it tastes. It tastes the regular onion ring, like very generic onion. Like not Funyuns. Funyuns are a very specific flavor. This is like a knockoff Funyun. I really not getting any heat though. None. Like like one. And that's actually being generous. Yeah. Um, I wonder if they have regular ones. Now, Which is really compare. like uh, deflating because their normal, normal hot fries are, are hot. They're yeah, they're actually really hot. I'm at, well, you know what? We'll go here next. <coughs> These Tapatio hot fries. Salsa picante. All right, so we'll see. Now, Tapatio. I'm a really big fan of picante. Picante is good. I was going to say that Tapatio is a very specific flavor. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that, that smells like it. That smells like Tapatio. These look like a, like a fancier version of uh, hot fries. Yeah. They do. They do. <laughs> they do. Well, I mean, yeah, they look like they're made the same. You guys they look like a thicker, like a... Get in that bag. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thank right. you. Let me just take two. Oh, three. Oh, oh. man down. Two and a half. Oh, caught it. <laughs> good. All right. The three-second roll. Well, actually, I didn't even hit the ground. Yeah, so. I just hit my kneecap. I guess that's a forever roll. <laughs> Unless you got dusty kneecaps. Let's see. <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. Mmm, yo. That's good. Mm hmm. It's actually hot. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say. Uh, you know, this has Tabasco on it? No, the, the Tapatio. Tapatio hot sauce. Do you I have taste this in that? Yeah. It's very good. It does have that flavor, by the way. Yeah. So, if you'd like specifically grab Tapatio over other hot sauces, you would like these. The flavor's great. The heat's there. I mean, I mean the heat's not. I, I still don't think it's. Quite flaming hot, so I'd give it a four personally. What do you think on, on heat? Four is good. Yeah, I'd give it a four. And guess what? They put the little scale right in the middle. I think it's average, yeah. Good on them, I have to say, for, for being honest with their hot. I think they keep pushing maybe to a five, and, uh, but I, I think four is good. Yeah, I'd say a four. Okay. All right, so we got two more. We got these. These are looking hot just because they're so red. And I, for some reason, feel like these are good to be hot, so your choice. What's next? Let's do this first. All right, cheese curls. Brims. Have you ever heard of Brims? Nope. Nope, me neither. Oven baked. That's nice. None of this is healthy. No. Doesn't matter if it came out of a fryer or the oven. Definitely shouldn't be eating this stuff. Oh, I don't know. You think any of this stuff has MSG? <laughs> oh, probably, yeah. Uh, well, we'll know if you're hungry in a couple minutes. Um, that doesn't have a very good smell. No, it doesn't. I don't know why it, it um it smells just kind of plasticky. I don't know what's with that. Oh. Yeah. All right, all right, Brent, don't let us down. By the way, I've said I think I said this before, but um some of the weird shaped Cheetos and stuff people sell on eBay for hundreds. Of I watched dollars. that video. You were talking yeah, about. yeah, that's legit. Go to eBay, type in Cheetos. Uh, just type in Cheeto and you'll see or shape. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff on it. All right, all right bottoms Thumbs up. up. <laughs> It tastes really stale. Very stale. These are uh, October 7th, 2022. It should be good. You ever had those chips you have in like a pantry, you forget they're there, for, go back in a couple weeks, you open them up. You know what it is? It's not even a... Oh yeah, no, it's like styrofoamy. Yeah. It's not even crunchy. I think these... Uh, I don't want to even eat that again. Yeah, I think these might have gone bad. I mean, the it didn't seem like the bag was open, but... You know, I mean, besides them being stale, um, the heat size on it though. Uh, yeah, but I don't think the flavor is that great. <laughs> I'm glad you agree there. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's um, it tastes like it's supposed to be hot. I don't even know what the flavor is. Just like cheap jelly, I suppose. Um, it just tastes like a stale Cheeto. <laughs> yeah, and I would probably give the heat between like maybe a two or three. It's it's not. I mean, it's not bad. It's hotter than some of these. Yeah, I'd give it a three. But without the flavor, who cares? It's just really bad. You know, the mm. chips just don't kind of taste good, so like it's like, all right, it's got a mediocre heat, but then everything else is horrible. You know? Well, it's unfortunate. I mean, if I go to a dollar store, I'll give Brims another chance in the future. <coughs> I got something fresh, but I, I still don't think I'm going to like it that much. All right, well, the last one here, chili and lime, Fieras. Is that where we're going with? Fieras? Fieras. Yeah, you guys tell us. You guys know. All right. It's not going to split, so is it going to tear this way? Yes, of course. 
funniest thing with my son is when he tries to open them, they won't open. Yeah. He'll just like cow the bag and just pop over on the bottom. Hey, that works, right? <laughs> it works like, like if he's over a plate or something, but a lot of times it's like <laughs> bags just, just hovering, so it's like oh, all over yeah. the damn floor. Classic kid move. Those smell, you know what those, first of all, they smell good. They smell like like homemade tortilla chips at like a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, but like a fresh like good, line. yeah, corn chip. So I got high hopes for these. I'm going to put two in here because I want to be able to try. All right. Well, some, my mouth needs some redemption. This, after that this definitely has a lot of stuff on it. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Definitely lime. Mm hmm Definitely chili powder. Definitely fake Takis. Yeah. And definitely hot. Definitely hot. I'll give that a five. Mm. Yeah, I would say that's at least um, flaming hot. Hot. Yeah. Mmm. Ton of flavor. The extra crunchy. You know, I mean, if you guys haven't had Takis, you gotta try them. In fact, did you try those blue ones? No. Those are actually pretty hot. They turn everything blue. Your fingers and your mouth. Um, I forget the specific flavor it's supposed to be. It's literally just colored blue. But those are pretty hot. So I guess that's it. That concludes two dudes eating some chips. <laughs> Brittany hates Takis. I don't know why. I don't know. She didn't like yeah. them? She said the lime like bugs her out like the flavor of the lime. Uh, Brittany's my sister. The wonderful my wife. wife. You know? Yeah, we've been married for Vinny is my brother-in-law, by the way, <laughs> if you guys don't know. Some people ask occasionally, like, oh, what's up, Vinny? Where's he? And I, I see a lot of people saying that we're like brothers or like we're like the perfect duel. <laughs> well, there's some different mothers. Um, so before we yeah. cut this out, sure. When, obviously, we're going to take this one away. Yeah. I just feel like because it just tastes stale, so obviously this we just this is the worst one. But yeah. we have all the ones on the table. Mm -hmm. Let's do the best first. Which one do you think was the best? Give me five uh, well, uh, I like these, mm -hmm. but I feel like if I had a big, like if I had a bowl full, yeah. it would be a little too, too much. And it's not even the heat, it's just the flavor is actually too strong, believe it or not. Mine's is here. I, I honestly, I'm, I'm here, well those are actually really good. Yeah. I'm here and here. Yeah, I agree. These two. We'll, we'll save the time for some. Yeah. The hers and the top, uh, Tapatio. Actually, who makes these? Because Tapatio is good. El, El Sabroso. I would have Snacks. voted for these, but these are just not spicy enough. You know? yeah. Like th these both have the perfect amount of spice and flavor, like a combination. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cool. All what right. You, so. What is your least favorite? Least favorite, well, besides the stale ones. Yeah. Honestly, onion rings. probably these onion rings. Yeah. yeah. That's a, really a disappointment. I expect a lot more out of those. Because I like the Andy Caps so much. Do you ever, do you ever see like the old Andy Caps? You had like almost like Marble Miles. You had to save up the the packaging, and you would get the boxes. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I don't know why everyone wanted them so bad, but they were. They used to have a, like a listing of stuff on the back. You can yeah. Do. I remember really wanting any cat boxers. <laughs> I, back then, I don't even know who I chose them to. <laughs> <laughs> be honest. Uh, all right, so before we go, try those regular. Yeah, see what you think of those. Because this threw off the flavor, but that to me is legit like grilled corn with butter. And they make those in chip form, too. I it's, yeah, and just. I, I get this like. Exact name of it, sweet corn. Yeah, like a can of sweet corn. Yeah. It tastes just a, a dried popcorn steak. Nice. All right. Well, that concludes this video. I just thought it'd be fun. I was at a uh, Dollar Tree specifically, and I was looking around and thought, oh, you know, this might make a fun video when I see Vinny again. So here we are. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Vinny, for taking time out of your day to <laughs> make a nice video eating snacks with me. Um, and these will go to probably the kids to try, I guess. My crazy kids will be all over this. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.